Olympic bronze medalist and former world number one Saina Nehwal has joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. The badminton star joined the political outfit on Wednesday and is expected to campaign for the party in the upcoming Delhi Assembly elections. The Khel Ratnan Arjuna Awardi has been quite vocal on social media with political tweets praising Prime Minister and the ruling party. Along with Saina, her sister Chandranshu also joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. I hope that I can do something good for my country and I will try it all. And I am thankful to Bharatiya Janata Party, who has given me such a big honor today. And I am looking forward to doing something good. Thank you. The Supreme Court on Wednesday trashed the petition filed by Nirbhaya case convict Mukesh Singh, challenging the rejection of mercy petition by the President. The court said, that there was no merit in the argument that all the documents were not placed in front of President Ramnath Kovind before he took the decision. Four Nirbhaya case convicts are scheduled to hang on February 1st. Now, a third convict in the Nirbhaya gang rape and murder case has also filed a curative petition in the Supreme Court. Tehar authorities said Akshay Thakur filed a curative petition to challenge hanging in the court on Tuesday. The court is already hearing another convict Mukesh Singh's petition challenging the rejection of mercy plea by the President. Four convicts Mukesh Singh, Pawan Gupta, Vinay Sharma and Akshay Thakur are facing execution on February 1st. Bengal BJP chief is at it again. After his outrageous remarks on shooting the protesters like dogs, Dilip Ghosh kicked up another controversy by asking why hasn't anybody died at Shaheen Bagh. Ghosh said that while a hundred people died standing in lines for a few hours during note ban, women and children are protesting in four or five degrees in Delhi and yet nobody is dying. Speaking at an event at Kolkata Press Club, Ghosh also hinted that women and children were getting some incentive to keep the protest going. The government versus Governor Tassel in Kerala over the CAA peaked on Wednesday. Governor Arif Mohammad Khan, while delivering policy address, put his dissent on record while reading out portion on CAA. Khan made it clear that the paragraph calling for the abrogation of CAA is the government's view, not his. Although I hold the view that this does not come under the definition of policy or program, the Honorable Chief Minister himself has said in his letter that this is the view of the government. To honor his wish, I disagree, but to honor his wish, I am going to read this paper. Citizenship can never be on the basis of religion, as this goes against the grain of secularism, which is part of the basic structure of our constitution. After Indigo Airlines, Air India and Spicejet have also banned comedian Kunal Kamra from flying any of its flights till further notice. Indigo has cited unacceptable behaviour as the reason for action after Kamra posted a video online in which he can be seen heckling Republic TV editor Arnav Goswami on an Indigo flight to Lucknow on Tuesday. Indigo has put Kamra on a no-fly list for six months. The comedian has said that he wanted to ask Goswami a few questions, which he pretended to ignore, so made the video. Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Puri had advised other airlines as well to take action against Kunal Kamra. Tamil superstar Rajni Khan suffered minor bruises on Tuesday while shooting for popular adventure show Man vs. Wild in Karnataka's Bandipur forest. Addressing the media, Rajni Khan said that he has completed the shooting of an episode of Man vs. Wild and did not suffer any major injury but just a few scratches caused by thorns and that he's alright. Rajni Kant is the second Indian personality to be featured on the Discovery Channel program after Prime Minister Narendra Modi appeared on the show in August 2019. The death toll from a coronavirus outbreak in China has soared to 131, while over 800 new cases have been confirmed, authorities said on Wednesday. The health authorities in Hubei, which is the epicenter of the epidemic, said 25 more people have died of the virus and 840 more people were infected, raising the total number of confirmed cases to 5,300 nationwide. U.S. President Donald Trump said on Tuesday that Israel was taking a big step towards peace as he unveiled a plan aimed at solving the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Standing alongside Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Trump revealed details of the plan which has already been emphatically rejected by the Palestinians. Calling the plan a historic opportunity for the Palestinians to achieve an independent state, Trump added, this could be the last opportunity they will ever have. Italian football side AC Milan paid a moving tribute to basketball star Kobe Bryant who died in a helicopter crash on Sunday. Before the match against Torino in Serie A, Milan supporters and club management paid their respect to the NBA star who died along with his daughter in the crash. 
Kobe Bryant lived in Italy during his childhood and became a self-confessed fan of AC Milan and has attended many games at the iconic San Siro Stadium in Milan. Indian javelin ace Neeraj Chopra has qualified for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. The medal hopeful registered an 87.86 meter throw at Athletic Central Northeast meeting in South Africa. The qualifying mark for the Olympics was set at 85 meters. Neeraj is coming back from an injury as his last major international competition was the 2018 Asian Games in Jakarta where he won a gold with a national record of 88.06 meter.